Hello everyone. Now this time we have reaction from a mines chapter that is Hoffman bromide or hypobromide or Hoffman degradation reaction. Now first let us see why the name is Hoffman bromide reaction. It is because of formation of OBR minus and hypobromide is another name of OBR minus and why does degradation? Because if you see this reaction, this reaction converts an amide into amine with a loss of one carbon member so minus one carbon so let us say we are starting with something like CH3C double bond ONH2 what is the final product that we should get we should get out of it CH3NH2 that is an amine so this is the process through which it converts into okay so CH3C double bond ONH2 becomes CH3NH2 it can be any aliphatic amine or it can be an aromatic amine as well. For example, let us say you are given PHCONH2. Now with PHCONH2, what is our expectation? If it is PHCONH2, we should expect answer in this case PHNH2 after losing carbon dioxide out of it. So we'll see how this carbon will come out of this. And the reaction has reagents as we have written here. The reagents are bromine and KOH. So whenever bromine and KOH is given, we can remind ourselves with a reaction of OBR minus or OBR BRO3 minus formation, which is a very important reaction in inorganic chemistry. It goes something like this. Let's say you are given halogen plus OH minus. So this can give you XO minus along with X minus, or it can give you X minus along with XO3 minus. Okay. So this reaction happens in cold dilute condition, whereas this happens in hot concentrated condition. Okay. So, okay, let us come back to the actual discussion. In this, what you have to understand here is that the reaction which carries forward itself with the help of conversion of amide to this is proceeding via reaction of bromine first, followed by along with that we are given KOH, right? Let us see how will the reaction take its course. So for that, we can refer this mechanism step let's say we are given rc double bond o nh2 and you have brought bromine so we can say that nitrogen lone pair will be interested here and in this case it will form rc double bond o and at this place we have nh br1 br minus comes out and the extra h which is there can be taken out with the help of the base that is given as KOH. So if it takes this base, what will happen to this position? It becomes RC double bond O NH BR. Later, with the base OH minus, this H is also to be picked up, which can create formation of RC double bond O N minus bromine attachment. I hope you understand this point. Now there is a discussion that this particular structure takes formation of nitrine and then through rearrangement it becomes isocyanate which is R N double bond C double bond O but there's one more way to understand this thing we can say nitrogen lone pair or nitrogen extra electrons are pushing electron towards carbon it can't hold five bonds carbon can't hold five bonds so R migrates to nitrogen and in this process Br minus leaves so when Br minus leaves, it is a basically leaving group in this case. So what we can expect, we can expect formation of RnCO up to this. And this RnCO, when attacked with, see here in the previous step, you have shown that OH minus takes H plus, so it releases water. When it is re reacted with water, okay, or in basic medium also, so what we can expect, we can expect formation of RNH2 through this. This way, this reaction takes place. Now, if it is basic medium OH minus presence, you can expect byproduct as K2CO3, etc. And if it is only water, you can expect product as carbon dioxide as well. In this reaction, the rearrangement which is taking place at this particular location is also known as Wolf rearrangement. So we should know that Wolf rearrangement. Okay, so I hope this gives you clarity regarding the reaction pathway and the reaction can happen 
for aliphatic as well as aromatic both the scenarios the condition is only one that it should be primary amine very important line it should be primary amine so can we expect the same answer with any other thing let's say it is not primary amine it is some secondary amine no it is a specific reaction of primary amine all right now in later videos we will see how this isocyanate reacts with water and how it forms rnh2 but i hope this statement is clear and how you understand like the complete video so try to uh, like it subscribe and tell your friends as well thank you very much